Hello, my name is uh, Joseph Mbele, and um, I would like to welcome you to my short, short talk today. Um, welcome to my YouTube channel. Um, I talk about um, education, culture, globalization, things like that. Today, I want to focus on a reality that uh, troubles me and preoccupies me and this has been the case for i would say several years it's an issue involving african americans who are moving from the usa to africa uh, it also includes those who are thinking about moving from the USA to Africa. It's a trend that um, has been going on for s decades. Um, yes, um, but uh, in the last few years, I think it has picked up momentum. Um, the idea of um, returning to Africa has been there from the very beginning of the slave trade, the transatlantic slave trade. Um, there have been numerous efforts to put it in practice, and I don't need to go into the history of, uh, you know, episodes such as um, the migration of uh, freed African Americans to Liberia, the efforts of Marcus Garvey uh, about a century ago. Um, I'm talking about what's been happening in the last few years. African Americans moving to places like uh, Senegal, Gambia, Ghana, Rwanda, Tanzania, and South Africa. The thing that concerns me is um, that many of these people, unfortunately, um, leave the USA without adequate preparation. Uh, they want to get out of the USA for various reasons, uh, such as raci racism and so on. And um, they believe, you know, going out of there, coming to Africa, where they'll be among black people, fellow black people, uh, will solve that problem of racism. Um, it's something that I can understand and I sympathize with. Uh, the problem is that um, uh, there are serious differences between the black people of Africa and the black people of the USA, cultural differences. and. Uh, uh, coming over to Africa doesn't mean, you know, things are going to be easy. So I've thought about this and I've been reading reports, um, very sadly, reading about African Americans who uh, prepare themselves, they pack their things, uh, they leave the USA, and come to Africa without that preparation, without that uh, knowledge of what they are coming into. And then um, they find serious obstacles, especially cultural uh, differences. Um, some of them decide to move to a different African country uh, say they come into one country and then they see these problems, they move to another country in Africa. Uh, unfortunately, uh, they're not going to see a lot of differences. There are certain things which are common across Africa, cultural things, attitudes and uh, behaviors and uh, ways of doing things, perceptions and so on, including perceptions of African-Americans. Um, so there is a need to prepare 
there is a need to study, there is a need to learn about those differences. Um, I've taken some initiatives to help this process. As a cultural consultant, um, I talk with groups and people and I publish. I have a YouTube channel. I'm on Facebook. Uh, but specifically in the last few months, um, I've actually created a cause uh, specifically for African Americans uh, who are moving to Africa or thinking about moving. There's an online cause, and I want to mention it today. Uh, I'm pleased that I was able to do this because, uh, as I've said, it saddens me when I see people facing these challenges, these problems, and having to make costly decisions to go to another African country, for example. And some of them, the decision to pack their bags and go back to the USA. The cost in terms of money is enormous. And uh, the cost in terms of uh, the emotional side of it, the trauma, the shock, that's a huge, huge cost also. The cost of not preparing you know, um, um, in terms of education is very high also. You end up living in a place and you are miserable, you are frustrated, you are unhappy, and that's not good for your health. It's a terrible cost. It's a terrible cost. And uh, I was thinking about those things and I thought creating a cause would help anybody who is really interested in investing, uh, you know, in this kind of process of learning and uh, just getting ready intellectually, mentally, psychologically. So I do recommend that uh, anybody who is planning to go uh, to Africa, to live in Africa, uh, they at least read this book. They don't have to they don't have to sign up for the course right away. Uh, get a copy of this book, Africans and Americans Embracing Cultural Differences, and read it. Uh, I know it will open your eyes. It will help you a lot uh, to start thinking about what you might be going into if you move out of the USA and uh, settle in Africa. Read the book. Uh, I'm confident it will open some doors for you. Uh, I also believe it will make you want to take the course. Uh, but that's up to you. I just want to suggest this. There's also another book. It's a sequel, Chickens in the Bus. More thoughts on cultural differences. Um, I do recommend this on the strength of uh, recommendations by everybody who has read these books. There are thousands and thousands of Americans who have read these books. They recommend them highly. I could go into this uh, another time at length. But I do want to try and help you who want to come to Africa. Uh, I want to try and help you prepare so that you don't encounter this unnecessary uh, difficulties and expenses. Um, the course is online. Uh, there will be inf there is information about it underneath this video, and um, I offer myself, you know, to talk to people who would like to reach out to me for clarification if they have questions, uh, both about the book. And about the cause, uh, I have invested a lot of the knowledge I have coming out of uh, many years as a cultural consultant, and I'm very pleased that I've at least done something. It is not enough for me to just say, I pity those people, I'm sorry for them, 
uh, it saddens me. Those are sentiments that I have and I want to share them. But more importantly, I have tried to do something to help. Again, I am there for you. If you need my help, uh, send an email. The information is underneath this video. Um, I want to help as much as I can. I've been helping a lot of people. I've been making presentations, counseling people who face these kinds of challenges. Uh, this is it for today. And um, once again, uh, if you find this talk meaningful, if you are thinking about going to Africa, uh, you are African-American, uh, or if you know somebody who is thinking about going, help them, let them know they need to prepare. And um, I'm offering this uh, book as a starting point. Uh, you can get it online from www.lulu.com www.lulu.com That's it for today. I wish everybody all the best.